Uh, okay, we have to proceed with the next uh, presentation and the next uh, presenter is Alexander Duchenko from LLC PIC project. And the title of, title of the presentation is uh, Computation and Analysis of Dispersion Curves for Surface Waste Traveling in uh, Multilayer Plates with Interfacial uh, Defects. Uh, yes, hello. Uh, my name is Alexander Duching and I am glad to present uh, my topic, which was uh, which was uh, called before. So let's begin. Uh, modern aircraft and civil engineering, as well as other engineering fields, have posed the requirements upon construction materials to be lightweight and durable. So this uh, finally leads to lead it to invention of composite materials. Uh, consisting of several layers of element with uh, different properties. Uh, material of this type demonstrate high target properties in composition rather than separately. And um, uh, in many cases, it is uh, vital to estimate uh, the condition of such materials. For example, uh, if this material is used for construction, it is important to estimate whether it has cracks uh, or internal defects. Uh, and uh, this was uh, the main reason of uh, this topic. So uh, the methods of uh, non-destructive di diagnostic are targeted to assess uh, the condition of a structure or a particular element and uh, to, det uh, to detect uh, some interfacial uh, cracks in uh, its early stages. Uh, also, it is possible to assess. Uh, it is possible and important to assess uh, damage degree, and uh, in case of self-healing composites, uh, assess uh, uh, healing condition uh, to estimate whether it achieved targeted strain or not. Uh, additionally, these uh, methods are important for geophysical exp exploration, for example, for seismic microzonation and uh, to assess uh, soil condition on uh, uh, some construction place. Uh, generally, uh, my, uh, main, types, uh, main types of surface waves are, show, are shown below. Uh, these are lamp waves. Rayleigh waves, Stoneley waves, and Lau waves. Uh, lamp waves are elliptically polarized in the sagittal plane, uh, uh, which is uh, formed by the normal to the wave front and surface of the layer and uh, propagate in separate layer. Rayleigh waves travel in a half space with the same polarization as lamp waves, decaying with depth. Uh, meanwhile, stonely waves propagate along the boundary between two conductive half spaces. Uh, and uh, uh, and uh, love waves uh, propagate in uh, a media including layer or layers uh, and a conducting half space, uh, and they are polarized orthogonally. Uh, for more destructive te uh, testing, lamp. L and lab waves uh, are considered as the most appropriate as uh, they have dispersion properties uh, or the dependence of uh, the oscillation frequency on uh, the phase velocity. Here in this work, uh, uh, lamp waves uh, will be used to assess the condition of uh, uh, many layers plate, many layers plates with the interfacial defects. Uh, here, uh, the general uh, here general constitutive equation are shown, and uh, more information on uh, six-dimensional formalism for lamp waves can be found uh, in the article of uh, Sergei Kuznetsov. Uh, it's uh, written in the bottom of the slide. In general, uh, here we can see the equation of motion and uh, boundary condition on uh, the three surfaces uh, of a multi-layer plate. Uh, to estimate the efficiency of this method, uh, two types of models were used, so two-layer plates and four-layer plates. Here we will start with uh, a two-layer plate. Mm, uh, here, uh, too much, uh, too, too, uh, this model consists of uh, two layers connected uh, between themselves uh, with the uh, blue layer. 
uh, model materials with uh, raw and uh, young with density and young modules equaling to one is used and uh, modulus of elasticity for a glue is u is is equal to 0 0.95 when uh, interfacial crack appears uh, mod uh, deformation modulus of uh, glue layer equals to uh, to the values from 10 in degree minus 5 to 0 0.5 so by by this we can we can estimate the damage degree in case of uh, non-destructive testing for some damaged elements or the degree of healing for self-healing composites by varying these models of deformation for glue layer. So here uh, we can uh, see dispersion curves for undamaged conditions so for uh, that corresponds to uh, uh, the figure on uh, the top, the parameters on the top. Then, uh, when uh, a crack uh, appears, uh, dispersive, uh, the picture of dispersive curves uh, totally changes. Uh, here we can see that uh, deformation modulus for middle layer equals to uh, 10 in degree minus 5. And uh, at uh, different values of uh, modulus of uh, young modulus for the middle layer, we can see a different uh, picture of dispersion curves. And uh, from uh, looking at this graph, we can see uh, that it is possible uh, to not only to find uh, the damaged element, but also to estimate it, its condition, but by comparing. Uh, uh, dispersion curves uh, at uh, the theoretical one. For example, here we can see how it changes, and it at uh, young modulus equals to 0 0.1. It uh, it uh, it can be considered as almost similar to its initial state. Uh, then let's uh, consider four layer plate. Here, uh, the model was different, and uh, we have three layer, uh, three layers uh, with the young modulus equals two for middle layer, and uh, two outer layers with young modulus equals to one, and all these layers are connected with uh, a glue with the uh, density equals to one and uh, deformation modulus equals to zero point ninety five. Uh, after uh, interfacial crack took place uh, here in uh, the first value layer. Uh, it va uh, it uh, value of Young's modulus uh, varied from uh, 10 in degree minus 5 to 0 0.5. As a result, we can see uh, um, one moment. As a result, we can see uh, dispersion curves uh, for undamaged condition. And uh, dispersion curves uh, when interfacial uh, crack takes place. Uh, here, uh, so I'd like to tell some conclusions. And uh, here, uh, the use of lamp waves for non destructive diagnostics of interfacial cracks uh, is shown. And uh, from the obtained results, it is possible to see that uh, it is uh, possible to detect uh, not only crack, but uh, also to estimate the condition of uh, the layer. For example, if uh, we would like to understand whether it is possible to use this construction or not, uh, we need to get uh, uh, the dispersion curves and compare them with the ones obtained theoretically. Additionally, it is possible to estimate uh, the condition of healing for self-healing composites. Uh, here are some links on the method, and uh, thank you for your attention. Yeah, thank you very much for your for your very interesting presentation. You uh, used not that much time. Do we have uh, a good time for questions? And also, you helped us to keep to the schedule. So uh, please, we have time for uh, quite a number of questions. 
Uh, sorry, here I did not present all the equations uh, for the six-dimensional formalism. Uh, they can be found in this article. I did not present them here because uh, for it's not uh, it's not it would not be comfortable for the listeners. Oh yeah, that, that, that's. So if uh, uh, we have like the uh, group members who can uh, just uh, switch the microphone on uh, and uh, speak, and we have also the the listeners who can they 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 have an icon with hand, they can raise hand, and then I can if, if they have a question, and then I can give them a possibility to ask uh, their question. Uh, well, if nobody uh, has a question uh, yet, I I can ask. So can uh, can can we use uh, can we use your results maybe to, to to tell something about the possibility of seismic protection using uh, using that uh, results and or maybe induce some damage around uh, around structure we want to protect or drill holes around? Uh, can that? Uh, can that uh, well, I would say that uh, it is possible to uh, uh, sorry. <laughs> it is possible to estimate a soil condition. Uh, I mean, the soil that will be the base of a structure. Uh, to do this, uh, we need to change uh, boundary conditions. For example, here, uh, uh, plate uh, with free boundaries was considered. Uh, we, uh, we see the conditions for free surfaces. But if we estimate uh, soil layers, we need to change uh, boundary condition, and then we can uh, see dispersion curves. And by comparing them with the experimental one, we can uh, understand whether the soil base is appropriate for further construction or not. Or to use these results, uh, for example, uh, for construction of seismic barriers. Uh, because uh, from this, we can uh, get the data on wavelengths. Mm -hmm. Yeah, thank you. If, any more questions? Somebody, yeah, I see, I see a hand. Just I need to, yeah, uh, please have a. Uh, good afternoon. Uh, my name is Artem Yeremin. I'm from Krasnodar, Kuban State University, and I have a very brief question. Uh, in your numerical simulations, uh, the properties, the elastic properties of the glue layer uh, were pretty almost the same as for the soil. However, uh, typically glue uh, have U modulus and uh, density uh, sufficiently smaller than uh, something for soils or metals or glass. What was the reason for selecting such modulus uh, for the glue? Uh, one moment, I'll show you. Okay, here, yes. Uh, here, the value of uh, deformation modulus for glue layer is uh, taking. Um, yeah, this was just a model. It uh, wasn't connected to real materials, so I just decreased it to this value. And uh, in my further research, for sure, I will use uh, more realistic values. Here, Thanks. it was used just uh, to show what uh, happens if uh, there uh, the crack in this uh, layer will take place. Thanks a lot. Yeah, uh, thank you very much. Uh, uh, somebody else? We okay. If there are no additional uh, questions, we should thank the presenter.